watching Everwell. No more, live better. Anybody want a banana? Would you like some candy? Well, my name is Lisa. A bagel to go with that? Toast. Some toast? Okay. I feel like I'm running a short order diner around here. Well, I have two kids, two boys. Joey is 12 and Ben is nine. And Joey is a picky eater who doesn't like to eat. And Ben is a very kid only foods eater. So he only eats macaroni and cheese, pizza, and chicken fingers. Mm -hmm. Two eggs. Mm -hmm. Why don't I scramble them? I have two eggs left. I'll scramble them. Yep. yep. My kids no. are not very thrilled with the lunch program at the school. So when I do pick them up and they come home, they're famished. And they basically will eat all afternoon until dinner time. Sometimes I feel like when I look at other moms and the way they're running their households and the, the snacks they provide for the kids, that they've just got it down and they know what they're doing and it's working for them. But for whatever reason, it's not working for me. I'm Lisa, and I need a food rescue. Well, as a dietitian, I am here for the food rescue. These Ooh, are for you, thank first you. of all, because wow, you're such a me. great mom to care about your family. Thank Should you. Should we get started? Yeah, let's go. Come on in. Thank you. My first impression in meeting Lisa is, wow, she really has her hands full. She has two boys. Anybody who has kids that age certainly knows how busy they are with school, sports, and, and just being uh, energetic boys, especially where there's kids involved. If you want to look at what they're already eating that is healthy okay, and build on that. Start with the familiar and then move move to the unfamiliar. Well, I think the first move would be to upgrade the peanut okay. butter and jelly sandwich, and that is to add more nutrition. There are some products that are white bread, but they actually have whole grain in them. It's just a new way that they're making them. This one okay. is a whole grain cinnamon and raisin, and it's a really good source of fiber. Three grams of dietary fiber for one slice. So obviously two slices in a sandwich, you get six grams of fiber. Lisa's kids like macaroni and cheese. Okay, many, many, many kids do. But as a dietitian, I would recommend that the pasta be a whole grain pasta. They taste great today. You should try them again if you haven't. And as opposed to the regular spaghetti, the whole grain spaghetti is a good source of calcium. So often, you know, nutrition is connected with all the foods we're not supposed to eat, you know, no fat, no salt, no sugar, right, right. Um, no taste, no fun. Right. What I like to do, especially with kids, and it works for adults too, by the way. Okay, I could use some help too, no problem. Is, is focus on what we should be adding. So here's what we're gonna do. On our tasting bar today, we have chips, but these are carrot chips with a low fat ranch dressing and we have tortilla chips, but these are whole grain tortilla chips. So they're higher in fiber and we're serving those with some salsa. And salsa, you may not know, is extremely low in calories and very high in beta carotene, which your body converts to vitamin A. Another food that we're introducing to the boys on the tasting bar are prunes. Okay, I don't know if they'll eat prunes. Okay, but you know, we can call them dried plums. Okay. And what I think is great about this packaging is they look almost like little candies. Yeah, that's um, true. They do look like, I mean, just don't call it a prune. Just say it's a gummy plum. And I know that Lisa said the boys don't like tomatoes. Do they like tomato sauces? If they don't know it's a tomato. But not all tomatoes were created equal. They don't taste the same. And so we are going to challenge them to taste these little tiny grape tomatoes, which are sweeter, and I have a feeling they might like them. Okay, Carolyn, it's two o'clock. It's almost two o'clock. It's time for me to go get the kids from school. Okay, Wish go get them. Luck. I'll be here. Okay, see you when you get back. Let's go over here, let's see what we have for us. Overall, I think the buffet went great. They came in, they were a little hesitant about the new food, but after a few moments, they warmed up to it. That's good? You like that? What is it? You want to dip it in the salsa? And amazingly, they ate some carrots. They were dipping apples in the applesauce. They were trying some salsa. They ate a, some prunes. What's this? That's a, that's a gummy plum. And they even ate a tomato. And I've never gotten them to eat a tomato before. What do you think? Would, I really am happy that you like this stuff. I'm really surprised. I know that your mom is too. Oh, yeah. It's a win-win for taste and health. Case closed.